Hello, Fear the Meerkat here, welcome to another episode of Let's Play Minecraft 5 Advance. I've already tried to do this and found out that uh, you can't really beat the boss that's coming up without the call ring on all of your characters, so I would suggest if you don't have them yet, that you make sure you have four call rings and then make your way back here. Now, you might remember that there are holes in this section. I fell down one before, which is how I got into, into that place that had um, the, the chests with uh, tracks around them that could hurt me in the last episode. So you need to make your way around the holes, find out where they are by basically falling into them and by doing that you'll get this. Now unfortunately Enhancer isn't that helpful. Um, I've gotten rid of a lot of my stuff so you can hope that uh, it won't be helpful later so that I can afford the See a uh, uh, lid like that, a uh, hole like that. Anyway, I have sold some stuff so that I can afford uh, the coral wings. And now, just before we head on to the boss, because I don't think there's a lot else we can do here. I need to stop doing that. I don't think there's a lot else we can do here, so I'm gonna go and save it. And I will see you in a minute. Apart from saving it, actually, it's a very good idea to use a cottage here. Still got plenty left. Okay, now you're gonna want to deliberately fall down. You've nearly finished this section. And do that. Ah, okay, it counts as already done. Alright, if I hadn't already done it in the episode where I'd already tried to do this and found the boss, you would see the tablet there on that sort of raised pedestal. But nothing really happens. You just take the tablet and that's it. Oh, also, you can go down there, and if you go down there, there is a thing that will take you back to the start of the dungeon again. It's a small waterfall, but you don't want to fall down that yet. I'm really sorry for not showing you everything. Okay, it's not showing you this either, and I'm really sorry about that. Uh, basically, a monster comes and says, I serve X death, and I'm going to stop you from taking this tablet. But uh, he runs away again when that thing, which is the Viathan, appears. So basically I've got this, this stuff on everyone, use the best stuff you can for stopping spells and particularly stopping um, water spells with coal. The power of my waters, strong enough to wash away all sins and make all things pure, but only to those with the ability to fight the void while reward this power. Now, there's good things and bad things about this creature. The bad thing is it does that. And the really, really bad thing is it does much more powerful attacks than that. But the good thing is it's really, really weak to lightning. And the other good thing is that Tidal Wave shouldn't work. 
There we go. In fact, it, uh, it heals us. It's still going to be able to hurt us, despite using Gollum and uh, the, the Core Wings, it's still going to hurt us, but such things happen. If I do need to restart, then I will, but it should be a lot easier now than the last time I tried when I simply couldn't do it. And there isn't much else to say, um, though I will be continuing to show stuff off for a while. Odin is pretty good against it. It doesn't seem to be attacking Barks, I'm not sure why. Ah, it could be the... Argus Shield? Is that what it's called? Basically, the Argus Shield, whatever, means that um, magical attacks really don't do much. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, actually, I could just do this very slowly using one uh, character with uh, the Coal uh, Ring. But, somehow, if you try that, it manages to do attacks that uh, hurt you despite the Coal Ring and despite Gollum being there. I'm not sure how. It seems like it would have to cheat to do that, but somehow it does. So there you go. And yep, nothing else to say. Except this thing's a pain. Just want to see the uh, the total amount of uh, HP left there. See, it does this. Looks so like I do have more stuff after all. And that's not stopped by anything. Well, I'm really hoping it won't be lost again. Okay, good. Trust me, if you don't have coal ring, that thing is a massive pain. And if you do have coal ring on all of your characters, it's really not that bad. Keep in mind, this is the first time that hasn't thrashed me. I think that's it. I don't think that there is a source uh, where you can renew the magic lamp, unless it's specifically going back to the beginning of uh, the top of the waterfall again, outside of this, which is where you got the ring in the first place. That's the only thing I can think of. So yeah, this is the thing that takes you out, and that's, that's the top of the waterfall there, as you can see. We're supposed to have mine, but... Even on blue magic, I can't work out where mine, mine is. But I think that's all of these. Now, I think that we've got all of the summoned things. There is quite a good price to get more experience, which I'll show you in a minute. But we're coming to the end now, having gotten all of these tablets, and I'm just not sure how much there is left to show you.
Okay, well apparently we can get more of the legendary weapons. Or the legendary impossible for us to use. As I like to call them. Oh, that's enough of me talking for a little while. Let's go and get these legendary weapons. Ah, yes. Well, since this is something I can do, I might as well do it because I want this episode to last for a decent amount of time. Okay, I'm not sure what I want to go for here. Okay, this is Excalibur, not Excalibur. So, I think this is a sword that uh, Gilgamesh thought he had found. He had actually found something else. And let's see if Bart can actually use this one. Oh, he can use Enhancer, but it's it's really not very good uh, to lose so much stuff. I mean, your attack and agility go way down, so... Okay, no, you can't. Okay, well, since I can't put that on anyone, uh... I've put the protect ring back on them because I have no reason to assume that I'm going to be fighting another water creature soon. This actually sounds quite powerful, although again, I might not be able to use it. Oh, I, I can't use it, but if I could use it, then it would be a whip of the power of fire. And for the next thing I can't use, I'm not really sure why they bothered with these weapons, since so many of them can only be used by certain specific characters. I mean, if you only could choose three, and that's it, and there was, say, one per each type of character, then yeah. Sure, but... Well, that's not really how it works. Don't worry about the other weapons. You'll never get them, but that doesn't matter that much, because you won't be able to use them anyway. Well, you might be able to use them. This thing looks pretty fierce. Okay. Gonna have to use physical attacks here. That's not great. What choice do I have? This is not going to go well for me. Especially with Bart being Bart. I am going to see if I can run out of this. Uh, even better, I'm going to see if I can therefore out of this. Oh, thank goodness. It'd be nice to show off myself fighting that thing, but I'm not that stupid. If I had come here 
uh, earlier, the first time we reached Castle Cruiser, which I think was in the second world, then I would have faced loads of those. So you can see why it was a bad idea to do that then. Alright, this is awkward. Seems I can only go out by going this way. Not enough. Ah! I missed something! Yes! See, something, we're supposed to trigger something uh, after we go and get the weapons, but according to the strategy guide, but it wasn't triggering what it was supposed to, so I thought perhaps there's one set of these per tablet. Look, I'm not going to check because I already know that if we can't use other instruments unless we're barred, we're not going to be able to use that instrument unless we're barred. Same thing with the Geiger Bow, I suspect. I mean, there's that. And there's that. And uh, why not? I'll show you that too. And since we can't use any other axes, we're not going to be able to use that axe either. It's an axe. Okay, it's an axe that specifically uses MP for getting the um, most powerful shots, fair enough. And it looks like that's it. All of the legendary weapons. Again, I suggest run. Well, actually, no, I don't suggest run, because I don't think run is going to work. I suggest teleport. Generally, when it's a creature that's designed specifically to destroy you, which is clearly what that is, destroying you before you can get to this bit, which is a bit that's uh, that's created by you having all the legendary weapons. Then it doesn't like you run from those. I heard there's an earthquake down south. We can only hope that no one was hurt. Nobody knows the cause of the earthquake. I wonder if some underground volcano erupted. If only we had a submarine so we can go take it off. But... Oh well. Okay, well, apparently this is where we need to go, but I'm going to end the episode for that. I don't know how long it's been, but I've been praying for over half an hour. Well, look, who really cares why I'm ending the episode here? This is just the most convenient time for me to end it. So I will see you next time.